Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. This is the question. A 23 years old man is undergoing a hernia repair and the mesh is to be sutured to the inguinal ligament. From which of the following does the inguinal ligament arises? So first of all, let's see here that a 23 years old man undergoing a hernia repair and mesh is to be sutured in the inguinal ligament and they want to know that the inguinal ligament it arises from which of the following structure here the options options are transverse abdominis fascia internal oblique muscle rectus sheet rectus abdominis muscle and external oblique aponeurosis so we have to choose a option from which the inguinal ligament arises so here first of all we can see this ligament this is the inguinal ligament and this inguinal ligament attaches from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle and it has in the there this is the superficial inguinal ring and here this is the deep inguinal ring then we can see this is the this ligament here this is the inguinal ligament and here is obvious that the inguinal ligament it arises from this group of the fiber here we can see this group of the fiber and this fiber actually they are part of the external oblique muscle so the inguinal ligament it arises from the external oblique muscle in the second picture we can see this is the inguinal ligament it attaches uh, from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle and we can see it is the continuation of this muscle and which is the external oblique muscle in the second picture also here this is the inguinal ligament it starts from this anterior superior iliac spine and insert it in the pubic tubercle and it is a continuation of this this muscle group which is the external oblique muscle so it is now clear that the external oblique aponeurosis or external oblique muscle aponeurosis it gives rise to the inguinal ligament thank you all